hope to give you a great big welcome on behalf of beautiful Bladen County, where the sun shines a little brighter, the sky is a little bluer, a place where we still sit on our porches until the moon rises and the crickets start to chirp. <laughs> Uh, I'm here to represent you and I want to get to know you better. I'm endorsed by NRA, the National Right to Life, 100% um, um, approval rating from the uh, American Family Association, from the National Federation of Independent Business, and I'm a man who believes in, in the Constitution, and I'm a Jefferson Constitutional a member of Congress, so that's where I stand. Thank you very much. Say God bless you all. You. Say your name again. Robert in this room that actually helped me get that appointment obviously you can't get appointed by by a governor without a lot of help and I certainly appreciate the help that I received uh, in this room I was a practicing attorney for almost 18 years I, I live in Brunswick County live in Southport have since 1998 and I can tell you all are in great hands in, in Bladen County uh, your elected clerk Nikki Dennis has been a huge help to me and Sheriff McVicker has been a huge help my, my first day on the job I was actually in Bladen County and I pulled up to the Bladen County Courthouse and I thought there was a hostage situation. There were so many deputies waiting for me on my first day. I, I mean that. Sheriff McVickers welcomed me with open arms and it, it comes to see me every single day I hold court. So I am, I, I'm privileged to be serving the folks in Bladen, Brunswick, and Columbus counties. I am unopposed in November, but I still need your vote in November. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you folks for having me. My name is Jason Disbro. Thank you. It is an honor to be here. I look forward to coming here for the last month. North Carolina is a, it's home. Southeast North Carolina is home. It's where my wife and I have decided to raise our children. It's where I'm growing my business. And it's where I want to serve you. This is your seat. And it's a unique opportunity with this election to send someone to the house that can be a voice for this community. You, you, you need a strong voice. Times are changing. And Representative Brisson hit on this a little bit. The urban rural divide, it's almost like two North Carolinas. As the population on the 85-40 corridor has grown, the legislative power has shifted to the more metro areas. So it's very important that you have a voice that can be in Raleigh on the rural side that can work across the party lines. And from day one, I will build those coalitions. I've had a great opportunity over the last three years to work with leadership and get close to those guys, and I will have my feet wet day one. And that's unique for us. It puts us in a great position to have a voice there for you, the people. This is your seat. And I will be honored to serve you. I, too, will be on the ballot in November. And again, three things from you I need. Your vote, your support, and most of all, your prayers. And again, my name is Brendan Jones, seeking the North Carolina House 46th seat. Thank you, and God bless. I've always had to follow attorneys. Today or tonight, I've had to follow the attorneys who are now judges. <laughs> and you all know they're well educated and they're well spoken. But now you get to hear from the old ball coach. So forgive me if I'm not as well spoken. But again, I am Tim Benny. I'm running for North Carolina State House District 46. I have a BS degree in physical education. I have a master's degree in administration and supervision. I retired from education twice. Retired once, went to South Carolina, taught a year, came back home, came out of retirement, worked some more, and retired again. I retired in the military. I did my time in the North Carolina and South Carolina National Guard and Reserves. I am at present serving on the Bayou County Board of Education. Again, running for North Carolina State House District 46. I appreciate your support. I'll be on the ballot in November, not for this primary, but in the general election in November. Thank you. Sabrina Murchison running for Board of Education for District 1. I'd appreciate all the support and prayers and please, we must continue to focus on our children and education. Thank you. Thank you.